This DVD is a companion to the book Monitoring Tigers and Their Prey, edited by K. Ullas Karant and James D. Nichols. The DVD and the book must be used together to learn the techniques correctly. Copies of the book and the DVD can be obtained from Center for Wildlife Studies, Bangalore, India. Admin at wcsindia.org To effectively conserve tigers in the wild, it is important to be able to reliably estimate and monitor their numbers. This will tell us whether tiger populations in various reserves are going up, going down or holding steady. Since tiger numbers are generally closely linked to the availability of prey, monitoring tigers also involves reliably estimating the numbers of prey animals in a forest. This video guide illustrates modern scientific techniques for monitoring wild tigers and their prey. Since it is impossible to count each and every animal in a forest, attempting total counts or censuses of wild animals is usually impractical. The scientific techniques described here are based on well-tested sampling methods which can provide reliable results if used correctly. For estimating the number of prey animals in a reserve, the method that is recommended here is known as line transect sampling. Line transect sampling is conducted by two field workers per transect and involves the use of simple instruments like binoculars, range finders and compasses. For estimating tiger numbers in a reserve, the technique recommended here is known as camera trap sampling. Camera trap sampling involves setting up automatic cameras on paths and trails used by tigers. The cameras are triggered when tigers pass by, resulting in clear photographs. Since each tiger has a unique stripe pattern, the photographs can be used to identify individual tigers. The capture histories of these individuals are then analyzed using a method known as capture-recapture sampling to estimate tiger numbers reliably. Line transect sampling and camera trapping are however time-consuming, manpower intensive and expensive and therefore generally only appropriate for use in relatively small areas such as a tiger reserve, wildlife sanctuary or national park. For monitoring and surveying larger landscapes such as entire countries, states or regions, good baseline data on presence of tigers and their prey can be generated using a simple method known as occupancy sampling. The chapters in this DVD deal with the field protocols involved in each of these methods. Details on the statistical basis for these methods can be obtained by reading the source manual Monitoring Tigers and Their Prey, edited by K. Ullas Karant and James D. Nichols.